Today the guys will be doing a blind review of Telemore Dew. Telemore Dew is a blended Irish whiskey from the Telemore Distillery and is the second largest selling Irish whiskey brand in the world. Dew stands for Daniel Edmund Williams, who once served as both distillery manager and later owner of the distillery. Telemore Dew comes in at 80 proof. We paid $22 for our bottle with an average retail price of $29. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Thanks, Joyce. Welcome back to Thrifty Whiskey. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. And we are go ahead and pour the whiskey that Joyce just told you about. Let's go in. Some sort of fruit. I mean, Lemongrass. Apricot? I want apricot. A light fruit. I'm getting a little melon. Yeah, could be a melon. Yeah, see melon. I'm just going to go for a taste and we'll go on back to the nose. Not quite done on the nose. Mmm. Mm. That's okay, I sweet. I love that mouthfeel. It feels good. It's silky. That is silky. Ooh, that is good. Yeah. It's good. It's not punchy. Just fine. Goes down easy, but not thin. The late palate, early finish of this is peak for me. <laughs> this is yeah, this is good. The early palette, I'm like, eh. The late finish, eh. Right in that transition. Yeah. Very good. It's a good, easy sipper. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's viscous too. Yeah. It's got a, a level of viscosity. It's not like super viscous. Not yeah, like, it's not yeah. super thick. There's enough there to like it has a really good mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. It goes down easy. It's silky. Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, I think is a good. Mm -hmm. I'm also still getting some of that lemongrass on the palate. I don't want to add water to it, but I'm going to. Here we go, water. Peacock. I can almost see where the water was just sitting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not, you buy the water, you can often, if you look at it before you swirl around, okay, you can see the oil react to it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't normally look. We really should. Cause that's, we really should, yeah. So it really is an indication of how much oil there is. If you can see how much reaction is happening. Yeah. Because the more reaction is happening, the more oils are there. But if you saw it, even when you weren't paying attention, that means it's pretty oily. Right. <laughs> Opens up a good cologne aroma. Yeah, yeah, it got a little musty. Fin the finish lasts a lot longer now, but it's leaving like a um, like a wood tannin, and the finish does last a whole lot longer with water. A wood spice, getting a light pecan note at the end of the finish. Question is, is it better or worse with water, or just different? Just or different to me personally. I think it's better with water. Mm. I think it takes that middle space between the end of the palette and beginning of the finish and just spreads it across earlier in the palette, later in the finish. I think I dislike the finish more with water. Oh, see, I, I, I think that... I think, I'm not, that's not much of a difference. I think the finish got drawn out. But you know what? I think now that I've talked my way in through it a little bit, I think that the finish quality went down, extended the amount of finish there is. Right. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Like, do I think that's... Good though, sir. For there. me, the water cut the mouthfeel yes, a lot. Yes, I do think. And that was one thing that I f found favorable on this whiskey. I agree. I think I think it's better without water, but I think it's absolutely worth spending your time adding a little water just to yeah. see how it's different. Mouthfeel is not something I'm, I'm normally looking for a rating on, so it's not something that I was necessarily considering. But yeah, that's a good point. I do I, think the mouthfeel. I look at mouthfeel as part of the palate. Yes. Same. We're going to move into our ratings. We're going to talk about the nose, palate, and finish on a scale of zero to five. The nose, I wasn't really excited about this whiskey at all. R average, run of the mill. I'm going to give the nose a three. The palate I found very exciting, mouthfeel especially. I'm going to give that one a four. Not so much there for me on the finish. A little bit of a pecan note that I got. Kind of enjoyed that, but that was extended way at the end of the finish. I'm going to give the finish a two. Oof. Oof. I'm in agreement a lot with Keith here. The nose, I think, was run-of-the-mill, average, nothing super exciting. It was kind of light, honestly. So I'm giving it a three on the nose. The palate, like Keith, I'm giving it a four. I think that there were some good notes there. That mouthfeel was exceptional. Where I do disagree with Keith is on that finish. I really liked the early finish without water, and I'm giving it a four on the finish. It was really good notes. I did like the almond coming in late or that nutty note coming in late. It was just a little short for me. Well, they said the nose, it's fine. Give me a three. Palette, great mouthfeel, great notes. Just once go the way the experience overall, just drinking it is really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give the palette a four. And the finish, I am somewhere between these two when it comes to the finish. I did enjoy it, but I don't 
I don't know if I enjoyed it as much as he did, and I definitely liked it more than him. So I'm gonna go with 3.5 on the finish. So with that, we're gonna move into our guesses. We're gonna guess what kind of whiskey we think this is, what we think the proof is, what we think retail price is, and how much we'd be willing to pay to get a bottle on our shelf. I think this is an 84 proof Irish whiskey. I think it retails for 22. I'd be willing to pay 20. Right along the line, so with Eric. 84 Irish, 20 and 22. I think this is, I also think this is a blended Irish. I also think it probably has a higher malt content just based on how viscous it was though, but I, don't, I do think it's blended. I'm gonna go higher than 80, so I'll go ahead and say 84, and it's probably like 80 or 80 to 86. I'm gonna guess that it retails for at least 28. I'd be willing to pay 25, just because it's Irish and it's a good Irish. It is a good Irish. <laughs> Let's go ahead and confirm if we are right about it being an Irish or any of those details. Today, we drank Tullamardu Irish Whiskey. This is a 80 proof Irish whiskey, triple distilled. Wrong there. Uh, it is blended Irish. So the average retail price for this bottle is about $29. We paid $22. Yeah, see, I'd pay 22 for this. Yeah. I like Tullamardu. It is aged in refill, refill barrels, ex-bourbon barrels, and ex-sherry butts. So there is some sherry influence here. Okay. So this is often put up against Jameson as a competitor, right? Yeah. It's about right. the same price. It's a blended Irish whiskey. It does say on here that this is a blend of grain whiskey, ponsel whiskey, and malt whiskey. So it's a blend of all three types of Irish whiskey. All right. Well, that's what we think of this whiskey. Let us know down in the comments what you think and give us a like if you enjoy our content. And until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, this drink's on me. me.